Hey, y'all. Come on in. Come on in, y'all. Come on in. Hope all is well on this Wednesday night. I've been, I've been busy all day. I um, had a lot of greens I washed and froze for the winter, getting right for the winter. I washed clothes and folded clothes. And I just took care of my chores in my home, you know, the duties of my home, you know. Nothing going to come before taking care of my home. None of these people on here. I'm going to take care of my home always. So how's everybody tonight? I'm well, you know. Feeling good. Patty 3 said, hey, Aunt, I was just looking for you. Here I am. Bless hands said, hello, sweetie. Hey, bless hands. Diane Stone said, hi, Miss Carver and Chet and Mars. Tracy Jones, hi, Miss C. How are you? I'm well. I'm well. I just got through folding up my last... My last wash of my laundry froze all of my greens, and I had a whole big trash bag. Put it up for the winter. Yeah, I had a busy day, Swag Fam. Hi, Miss Carver and Chad. Thank you for like good evening, Miss Carver. Myra Mitchell said, Hi, Miss Carver and Chad. Bless Hand said, Me too. <laughs> Myra Mental Medical Case of Swag Prince said, Hi, Miss Carver, Mars, and Chad. Patent 3 said, Good evening, everyone. Bing's mom said, Hello, Miss Carver. Thank for life. Said, Please hit the like button, y'all. Y'all hit the like button. Stacey Stuck with said, Good afternoon. I pray all is well. Oh, everything is well over here. My husband and I, we picked the salad. We washed the salad. We, uh, we didn't cook it. We blanched the salad and we froze the salad. We did it together. We in this. We we in in this as a team until death do us part. Uh, <laughs> you better believe it. <laughs> good afternoon. I'm, yes, don't do me. Say good evening, Miss Carver and chat. The Charlie said, Hi, Miss Carver. I've been waiting on you all day. Here I am. Uh uh. Tila. Swag fan said, hello. Oh, I don't, this thing done really jump. Okay. Thank you for like, Miss Carl, what was for? I'm going back up here, then jumped. Hello, Mama Carl in chat. Bless hand, Miss Carl. I had a bad day today. Oh, really? What happened, Bless? What happened? Janice Miller says, hello, Miss Carl, and everyone in the chat. Rosa Holiday said, good evening, beautiful Miss Carver and the chat. Old Ote Monique said, hi, Auntie Carver, you're beautiful. You remind me and resemble my grandmother, sis. I love your cover. Thank you so much, baby. I just got out of my tub. I got in there and I soaked. I soaked, exercised my legs, put on my nightgown, and here I am. Uh, uh, Courtney Latrice said, hey, auntie, I love me some Miss Carver. Thank you so much, baby. Thank you so much. Lisa B said, hello, beautiful Miss C. Roses and chat. Swag fans said, hi, Doris. Doris said, hi, Swag. Myra Mendel said, how have your day been, Miss? Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Had a big uh, uh, garbage bag full of beautiful greens. Beautiful greens. And I just took my time, picked them and washed them, blanched them, and they in the freezer for the winter. Miss Carl, what was for dinner? We went to the meat market over there, and I love chicken gizzards. And we got a, the other day we had got this big pack of gizzards. I cleaned them real good, washed them, and put them on. And I cooked them. After they got about done, I put some rice in it. I had uh, gizzards and rice and a little bit of the greens that I did not freeze. I cooked them for dinner and some cornbread. Just I just had just a little greens because I didn't want to throw in the way. Ain't nobody, my husband and I. And that was good. I really enjoyed it. And the gizzards were so tender because I cooked them slow. Cooked them real slow so they wouldn't be tough. 
and I enjoyed it. Uh, so Lisa, said, hi, Miss Carly. Hi, everybody. Brenda Johnson, hey, Miss C and Jack. Regaila Woods said, Doris, hey, Nisi Poo. Swag fan said, hey, Lisa B. Little Black said, hey, Miss Carl. Hey, Miss Lady Red. This is beautiful, Miss Carl. Thank you. So that's a continued prayers for you and you and Miss. Thank y'all so much. You know, we all need prayers. I know we do. Chrissy Cronkins, hello, everyone. Hey, Chrissy, Chrissy. Regala Woods said, swag fan. Hello, beautiful. Lisa B said, Regala. Tilo said, I love, love greens, but not at a dollar or more for a tiny bunch. No. We didn't buy these. This garbage bag we got is from our neighbor. This My husband and, and then uh, planted it this year. But my neighbor got a beautiful garden of uh, greens. And uh, he brought us some up here and I... I did. Uh, I washed them, blanched them, and, and froze them for the winter. I love them. Dora says, so unique. Lisa B says, swag. Tracy Jones said, Missy, you sound so good. Thank you, honey. I mean, I, uh, I'm okay. You know, I'm okay. God got me. I'm okay. <laughs> you better believe that. Friend said, please don't use any content creator's name in the chat. Nicknames only. Mars will uh, delete your comments. Thank you. Thank you so much, Prince. Let me, before I go any further, let me say this. I called my lawyer early this morning before he had to go to court. And I was telling my lawyer about the situation. He said, Miss Carl, we don't worry about it. This is a YouTube bully. No, he said, internet bully and an internet thug. He said they come a dime a dozen. You could never call a person like that, a uh, subpoena a person like that to court. He said they everywhere. You gonna find these thugs and bullets everywhere on the internet. He said they're nobody. They are nobody. He said just don't even listen to them. They ain't even worth listening to. And I thought about what the lawyer, I said, you're right. That lawyer was right. He said, you're gonna, everywhere you go on the internet, you're going to find the internet bullets and thugs. And he said, that's exactly what it is. I said, he asked me, uh, what's her name? I said, I don't know the bitch name. I said, she don't even show her picture. Her picture's not shown, but I can tell you the channel she gone to. He said, you know, that could be anybody. She could be over here illegal. He or she could be over here illegal. He said, don't even worry about them, them thugs and them bullets. And I got to think, and I said, now he's so, so right. He said, I wouldn't spend a dime on either one of them trying to bring them to court to subpoena them. So he said, because ain't none of them worth a damn. These internet bullets ain't worth a damn. Y'all heard me talking about these motherfuckers? You, hear, you see them calling, don't you? From the area code 214. From the area code 214. Cause I'm talking about it. He said these internet bullets ain't worth a fuck. He said most of them ain't even from this country. They over here illegal. And they just are, are digging, doxing, and digging up shit. Digging up shit, digging up shit. And I said, Mike, I ain't gonna tell you what all he said. Cause I don't my page with that mess on it. But he has some shit that makes some damn good sense. They ain't worth a fuck. And I hope she keep digging. He or she or it, whatever the motherfucker is. Bitch, you keep digging. Maybe you can dig up a uh, cantaloupe's mammy. Or you can dig up your goddamn mammy, bitch. Just keep digging, motherfucker. And that's all, in, that's all the attention that you're going to get from Miss Cara. Because I know you are seeking views and likes. You will never get no more attention from me, motherfucker. Fuck you and your and your master. Y'all fuck each other. That's on y'all. I'm going to get that up to y'all because I'm through with you. I'm through with you. Let me read some more comments. <laughs> pretty lady said, hey, not going out of diva. Pretty lady, TT. Yeah, pretty lady. Hey, Chrissy. Chrissy Crosby. Hey, pretty lady, TT. Alice Flint said, hey, Chrissy. 
Ogo Harris laughing. Chris Chronicles. Uh, Hello, Alice. Uh, North Carolina Diva. Hi, pretty lady. Uh, yeah, let me speak on this. Uh, uh, now, Kelly looks at. Oh, Rita did all this on trees. Talked about trees, kids. But let me tell you something, Kelly. You put it on your platform. You allowed. Don't put everything on Rita. You allowed Rita on your motherfucking platform to talk about those kids. And everything that Rita said about them, you repeated them a number of times. Both of you motherfuckers are turning her into C whatever. C wherever you turn uh, CPS or whatever the hell it is. Both of y'all are turning in. So don't put all that on Rita. You just as guilty as that girl is. Because you allowed this shit on your platform. So don't come up with that. Everybody heard it. She brought it to you and you allowed it. And you took it and ran with it. You took it and ran with it. Everything that girl had to say, you put it on your platform. And then when you got all the information you needed, you fired her ass. You kicked her to the curb. Now you don't want over there and picked up this other it bitch. But y'all can dig into doomsday. Maybe between digging, they'll find your, your dead mammy, bitch. And maybe they, uh, she'll find her mammy or uh, grandmammy, goddammit. Just keep digging, goddammit. Keep digging, okay? Dig up everything you can dig. Maybe y'all will find your mammas and your grandmammas and your great grandmammas, motherfuckers. It is what it is. It is what it is. It ain't none of you, mother. Let me tell you something. Let me let me tell you, motherfucker, bullets and goddamn thugs up on this motherfucker. I don't give a fuck what y'all pull up, pull up, or find on my husband. My husband is not me. My husband is not on this motherfucking YouTube. What you need to do, bitch, is pull up something on Miss Carver. Because my husband ain't got no YouTube page, motherfuckers. I got the YouTube page. Pull up something on Miss Carver. But see, what, what y'all uh, 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 y'all know, it ain't a motherfucking thing like that you can find on me. And I'm going to tell you something else, you motherfuckers. What my husband did before I met him is none of my motherfucking business and it ain't your goddamn business. What he did before I met him is his business and the good Lord business. But you keep digging, motherfucker. You'll find like that my husband had never been charged with any motherfucking thing. He ain't never been found guilty of shit. So you keep, and you tell half of the story, motherfucker, tell the whole story. He ain't never been found guilty of a motherfucking thing. And that shit you trying to tell you a uh, foreign motherfucker, that was before I met him. And I ain't got a damn thing to do with what he did before I met him. And what he did before I met him ain't got a motherfucking thing to do with me. Do with me. And you dig, bitch, and dig up your motherfucking mammy or your pappy, bitch, and tell us what they got on them motherfucker. Come from behind them curtains, it, and let us know. Show, where your green papers, bitch? Show your green papers. What? Why are you hiding behind the curtain, cousin, it? What you got going on, a uh, motherfucker? Come from behind the curtains, bitch. Okay, let me read a, a few more comments. So true, Mama Carl, so true. Uh, hit the like button, y'all. Uh, Carol Ellis said, hi, I ain't no Carolina Diva. Pretty lady said, hey, don't do me. <laughs> Adora said, uh, liberal lady. Alice Smith said, hey, bless hand. Ogle Harris, the truth is being told. No lies detected. I, I ain't going to get on here and tell no lies. I ain't got no damn reason to lie. I don't know these motherfuckers. What am I going to get on here and lie for? They can dig till they pull up they mammy. They mammy. I don't give a fuck. 
truth is being told. No, uh-huh. But you come from behind them curtain, bitch, and show who you are. Uh-huh. Show your green papers. A count up. You don't hear show your bank statements, bitch. I was Miss Carver the other yeah, day for yesterday. Now I'm back. An old lady. Yeah, the old lady. Y'all got to be aware of a motherfucker like that. I told y'all that bitch is just a fake and phony. It's two left shoes. Uh, Miss Carver. I said, oh, I know this bitch won't holler at Miss Carver. Now I'm back there, the old lady. That bitch, but I tell you, I don't go fuck what you call me. Old lady, Miss Carver, a, a shit ass, a fatty. I don't go fuck what you call me. Show them damn bake steak, Miss Bitch. Show them. And stay the fuck out of my business. Trying to dig up everything on my husband. Dig up your dead mammy, bitch. And tell us how she got pregnant with your crack ass, motherfucker. You do that. Dig up all of your mammy's crack ass secrets, bitch. Come back and tell us your secrets, crack baby, bitch. Do that. Since you want to dig and dig and goddamn it, dig. Don't keep digging, bitch, and you fall in the goddamn hole. Okay? Okay? But what you need to be digging on is something on me, motherfucker. Because my husband ain't got no YouTube page. Dig and dig and dig and find something on Miss Carver. You, you and that foreign bitch over there probably ain't even got a goddamn green card. Mm -hmm, in my opinion. And I want to say this to y'all. Any of y'all on here that got these teenage kids, these kids is in school. Please, 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 please teach these kids not to do drugs, not to take anything from anybody. Where I'm living, here's my hand of God. I looked at the obituary today. There was 10, all every damn one of them I know, 10 individuals below the age of 48. A lot of them was 29, a lot of them in the 30s. Every one of them was below the age of 48 and died in the last 10 days. One funeral home got 10 bodies. At one time. And a lot of them died with that phenidine. I hope I'm saying it right. That drug phenidine. Phenidine in this system. Please, y'all, talk to y'all kids, y'all grandkids. Leave drugs alone. Do not take anything from anybody. And, and I'm going to tell you people got these small kids, do not let your kids go trick-or-treating and get this cannon because it's going to be a lot of that shit because they make it like Skittles. They make it in the form of candy. Do not let y'all kids go trick-or-treating, especially over there at Kellogg's house. Do not put y'all kids out here in danger Taking kid, taking candy from strangers. I told, t told my daughter, I only got one daughter that got that young child. Please don't take him out there. I got all the Halloween candy here that you, your kids want and, 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 and fit them up won't. Do not go out to these neighbors hood and these stranger neighborhoods because people are so mean. They are putting shit in this cannon, they put stuff in your drinks, they put stuff everywhere. People are evil. Do not take your kids and grandkids out there. If you have kids, talk to your kids. Because they said they got it in that form of candy and they putting it in that Halloween stuff. Please protect your, especially your black kids. Because you know where it is? It's in the black neighborhoods. Is uh, they putting all this shit, this philodine and all that in the black neighborhoods? And you know who they said bringing it in here, bringing it into our country? 
them foreign motherfuckers like cousin it. All these goddamn motherfuckers coming from these foreign countries running up in here. I ain't got no green card. Anytime a motherfucker hiding and you don't know him and y'all supporting these motherfuckers, y'all this is crazy as these foreign motherfuckers here. That's how this shit getting into our country. And I'm not no goddamn racist. By these people bringing it into our country and they dropping it off in the black neighborhoods. And I'm a living witness. Right here in this small town that I'm living in, one funeral home got 10 bodies. 10 young people. Please keep your children off these streets, trick-or-treating in these neighborhoods that y'all always take them to the... And one thing about it, one, I don't know why black people always want to take their kids to the white folks' neighborhood to trick-or-treat. Don't do it. Buy some candy at home and, 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 and serve your own kids trick-or-treat. Do not put those kids out here with all this mess running around on these streets. Do not do it. Trick and treat your own kids. It's too damn dangerous for the black kids of today. Do not do it. It's dangerous as hell. And I sit here every day looking at the bitch word. I see it every day. Don't do it. Hello, Alice. Alice Vincent. Keep, hi, keep pushing. Speak, Miss Carver. Keep pushing. Amen. Oga Harrison. Uh, uh, Miss C, don't give them too much. I'm telling you, keep your kids at home. Keep your kids at home. Don't put your kids out here on Halloween. Don't do it. Hi, Angela Brooks, lovely queen. They also have it in gummy bags called edibles. Yeah. Keep your kids at home. Don't sit them out here just for a piece of damn candy when you can go buy a bag of candy and treat your own kids. Don't do it. Uh, they dying 10 at a time in my city off of that fantasy. Yeah, that's what's killing them. 10 people in the funeral home. Less than all of them, less than 50 years old. Young, young girls. I stopped a long time ago. Georgia P said, I do not participate with Halloween. Don't send your kids out there. Too many black young kids are dying. Too, take it from an old fool. It's too many black young kids are dying out here. Don't put your kids out there for that. I'm, I met our son first year in college. And we constantly talk to him about that. Yes. Shelly said, hey, everyone. Y'all show right, Miss Cara. Same thing here, Adam and Skittles. My grands won't be going. Keep your kids at home. Go, go get a bag of candy and treat your own kids. Don't trick them. Treat them. Don't the trick or treat. Don't trick them. Treat them. Because they're going to get tricked if they get out here on these damn streets. I'm telling you. Don't do it. That's right, Miss Carl Josephine. We had four found dead in the same place behind Felony. Killed them instantly. Heart, heart, that's what I'm telling you. Heart attacks. It busts your heart wide open. Young kids, young kids, you hear me? Young kids. Don't do it. Talk to your kids. Talk to them. Hello, Miss Carl Chats and Ma. Uh, Sting of the Black. Exactly, Miss Carl. My kids are 39, 40, and 44. Never been tricked or treated in their life. Treat your kids at home. Treat them at home. They ain't got to get out there. Treat them at home, and you'll know what they're getting. Uh, Mara said, Not, don't go to live a live house. Don't go, don't go by Cantaloupe's High. Keep trucking. Don't stop there. Over has the some of us think white folks ice is colder. Shit. 
black folks are always taking the damn uh, black kids to the white folks' neighborhood. Honey, keep your children at home. Keep your damn children. And I'm not a racist, but keep your children at home and treat your own kids. Keep them out of them damn neighborhoods. <laughs> keep your children at home. Tell it, Miss Carver. Yeah, hell yeah. Keep pushing. We own a bar and we're giving a Halloween a party for the kids so the kids will have something to do and not be in harm's way in our neighborhood. So that And that is a, a beautiful thing. At least they, y'all know them. Myra says, Sting, keep pushing. We have always done this for the, the community. Okay, baby. Bless hands laughing. Josephine Stowe, last month, that had it on news, kids giving it to the other kids at school. Yes. And I'd just be so scared for my two grandkids that's still in school. And I and my daughter's a school school teacher. And one thing about her, she is that no nonsense mother. And I say, you got to really talk to them kids. She talks to her. She she a nonsense mother. She don't put up with a lot of shit. And I just hope they can listen and listen and listen and go to school and don't ever forget what your mother tell you, cause your mother ain't gonna steal you wrong. Halloween is a devil's day, and it's not a holiday. And and Kelly up told me that's her best holiday. Who in the hell gonna say Halloween is the best holiday of the year for them? And that, that, think about it. They let you know that bitch evil as hell. Who gonna say Halloween is their best holiday? And who gonna say that? As I said, I remember them putting razor blades in cannon. Like who does that? Yes. My middle said, they have a, a trunk or treat at my husband's church on Sunday. Okay. Shelly said, keep pushing. Hi. How to give some good evening, Miss Carmen Chat. Alice Flint said, I don't let my children celebrate Halloween. I mean, no. Hell no. Putting up all these ghosts and things. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. But a lot of people want to harm children. Tell you, keep your little black. Keep your little black children at home. Keep your black children at home. You treat them yourself. Because she's evil as hell. Yes, ma'am. Pretty late. Because she, yeah. Don't think so. She the devil. That's why she loves Halloween. That's my favorite holiday. I couldn't believe it. I said, my God. How can a woman say Halloween? The devil's day. The witch's day. Heidi Gibson, she says it's her favorite holiday. Yeah. Part of the, of course, Lucifer is her name. In my, hell yeah. Hell yeah. But I'm telling you, y'all y'all keep y'all black kids at home. Don't be putting y'all black kids out here. If our folks just keep continuing to killing us, keep your black kids at home on Halloween. Treat them yourself. Go get a big bag of Halloween candy. I told my daughter, uh, uh, don't take them out nowhere. You treat them. If that ain't enough, you bring them to my house. Because I got plenty of candy. Plenty of candy that I done bought. You ain't got to put them out here from house to house. Don't do that. Uh, how to give them some, she says it's her favorite. Yes. Of course, Lucifer. Yeah, and uh, Lucifer's her name. Yeah. I tell you. But I'm y'all listen to this old fool me. Don't put your kids like that this year. All that thinner than I dead thinner dying or whatever you call it. Don't put your kids out there in harm's way. Keep your little black kids at home. Don't put them out there. It's some mean and evil people in this world. We're in our last days. Don't put your kids in harm's way. Love your kids at home. Treat them at home. Uh, people so evil, they take the fun out of everything. Amen. Shelly said, uh, we have a truck a treat on Saturday in the church parking lot. And uh, that's that's wonderful, Shelly. Shelly, how to say. I always thought that was very strange to her, too, Miss Carver. 
You, I never heard a person say Halloween was their favorite holiday. Christmas, what happened to Christmas? Christmas, you tell me Halloween, trick or treat? No, hell no. Alice Lane, her and little Michael Myers uh, of fade day. Yeah, not mine. I don't even celebrate Halloween. I, I'm going to buy, always buy the candy. One or two will stop by. One or two. And I'm going to always have that candy here. But I'm not putting all this shit up, these ghosts and shit. Uh-uh. I don't do that. People, you telling the truth, Miss Carver? Yeah. St uh, Sting of the Black Scummy. I don't even give out candy anymore, period. You know, that's a good thing. Maybe I should think about that. But I said, I got to have something. But see, nobody have ever come to my uh nobody have ever come to my house anyway, but the neighbors in the neighborhood. Nobody from anywhere else have never came to my house. Just my neighbors. And I and I know them. I know them and they know me. And I like to keep cannons or I'm always have can and I like to have my apple orange or something like that to put in that bag. Uh she wears her Halloween mask all year round. Absolutely. Be at your house. Hi, Miss Carver. Blessings to Charles. I'm so glad my kids are big now and don't even think about Halloween. I know. Honey, I know that's right. But honey, right now they ain't thinking about they ain't thinking about Halloween. But when they get big, they're gonna be thinking about something else. That's what worries you. You're gonna worry the death by them when they're little, about this, and then when they get of age, you still got to worry about them. Well, all this stuff running around out here in the street, you're going to worry more about them when they get of age. Like I have to do, uh, like I said in there, worry about my granddaughter. My one grand, I got some more granddaughter, but it's just that one. Just that one. I keep me on my, on my peas, honey. You better believe it. <laughs> she already for the rest of her life. Uh, Alice makes a keep pushing, laughing. I don't do Halloween. Good. I hate uh who who says I hate Halloween. Uh how to get and she almost 50 years old when I was a kid. When my children were little, we did it for fun, but never for evil intent. Thank you. Thank you. But a lot of people is evil. They'll put shit, all kinds of shit in your children's stuff. They like to hurt people. I think she mentioned that Halloween was her deceased son's favorite holiday. She did. Evil people. Don't do me. Hit the like button, y'all. Y'all hit the like button. Uh, bless hand. You're right, Miss Carl. Them grown kids, them grown kids. You talk about well, we worry about them younger, but Lord, you wait till they get <laughs> Lord, you wait till they get on their own over 18. Boy, I'm telling you the truth. And I ain't even talking about my girls. I'm talking about my grand girl. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Keep me on my P's and Q's. Uh, keep, we don't have any little kids on our street. So if someone comes uh, ringing this bell, grown will get the treat for that. <laughs> Shelly, but not, me too, Miss Carl, would like to keep a little candy for the grands and neighbors. Yeah. Because them little kids in the, in the block, they're going to always start. I'm going to always keep a little something. Hit the like button. <laughs> uh, to bless the host dollar sign Cynthia 5516. Thank you, Chrissy. Prince of Halloween is the devil's night. Have your kids begging for a stranger one night and the next day. You can't speak to that person that gave your candy last night because that person is a stranger. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I told my daughter, you don't take my baby, my grand, because my <laughs> her daughter there that got 15. She don't want to go. I said, don't take my baby, my grandson. I, you treat him. If that ain't enough, you bring him to me, the grandma. You bring him to me, and I treat him. Don't care that boy out there. The child said, yes, ma'am. I stay on them, Miss Carver. I don't play with it. No, don't play. Uh, yeah, uh, hood fabrics. And she's shaped like a pumpkin. Yes. Glenn is small. Good evening, Miss Carver. I'm with you. I don't like Halloween. I don't. Holly Gibson, yes, indeed. I haven't did anything for the witches Halloween since my boys were little. <laughs> I didn't do nothing then. 
when my girls were little, I just kept some candy here in case the neighbors stopped by. Well, I don't, mm -mm. I don't, I don't want them grandkids going no trick or treat and all that stuff I be reading on here. People mean, and who who in the hell want to hurt a child? But y'all will be surprised at the people I hear that don't care. Keep pushing, said Prince exactly. Crystal Chronicles said, my bag, dollar sign, Cynthia 55, 16. Thank you, Chris. The Prince said, hit the like button, please. Hit that like button. Y'all hit the like button. Uh, Prince said, hit the like button. How to give him some amen. Amen. <laughs> yeah, I... I I looked at uh, Susan Kellogg. Oh, I was a uh, Miss Carver one day. Looked out of the day, I'm back to old lady. I said, my God, my God. Uh, I'm back to old lady now. I was respected one day, Miss Carver. Wonder what happened, y'all. <laughs> Wonder what happened. Chris and Chronicles known for five months, day Lillis. Uh, Sister Big Bone, thank you so much, Chrissy. Thank you so much, Chrissy. <laughs> Number for five months. Sister Big Bone crew, you better believe it, uh, Chrissy. You better believe it. <laughs> Howdy Gibson, I love your new name, Chrissy. <laughs> Sister Big Bone crew, you better believe it. That's what we're going to call me, sister. We, the, my crew, the Sister Big Bone crew. Uh, and, honey, I want I want to tell everybody on here, don't y'all worry about Cousin It over there, what she said about me. I'm not going to send her no views. That's what she trying to do, get her views up. I ain't sending no traffic her way. And I hope she dig till she find her mammy and cantaloupe's dead mammy. Bitch, just keep digging, bitch. But I ain't sending nobody her way. I look, I I'm gonna block the motherfucker. My lawyer told me she just a, a YouTube, now an internet bullying thug. She just like a not on a log. <laughs> oh, thanks, Hide. Hide, don't do me. He said, and nine times out of ten, nine times out of ten, the bitch ain't even got no green car. She ain't even got no business over here. I said, my God, Prince and Memo for five months, day Lillis. You better get on down the road. There you go, Prince. There you go. That's another one of my sayings. You better get on down the road. And you know it. Get on down the road. But we ain't having it over here. Uh huh. You better get on down the road. It's two buildings down on the right. If it ain't one of them, you keep straight, you run in the lake. <laughs> Maybe that's where you're going. Uh huh. Hell yeah, I've been, uh, girl, I've been, y'all, I've been working all day. I am tired. I've been on here 39 minutes and six, 17 seconds. No green card. Woo, child. <laughs> what is it? No green card. Woo, child. Would love to find her, in my opinion. Yes. I'm telling you what the lawyer said. So nine times out of ten, that's why she hiding. It hiding. They ain't even got a damn green card. They illegal. Illegal over here. And I said, you that, that, you probably right, Lloyd. Keep pushing. Miss Carl, you don't realize how much people love you even in the bushes. And uh, y'all don't know how much I love y'all and thank y'all. Alex Lane, remember for four months, they Lily. Loving on Mama Carl, we all up. Thank you so much, Alex. Y'all don't know how, how y'all make me feel, knowing that y'all love me. Y'all would never know the feeling that y'all giving me. My Lord, you'll never know it. I don't remember saying, so I want a t-shirt that says that. <laughs> oh, so you said, I, I'm going to make a t-shirt. I ain't getting on here selling nothing. I don't want my name on these streets. I'm stealing this and I'm stealing that. Uh-uh. Hell to the no, no, no. I ain't stealing none of them, nobody. I'm going to ask. My God said, if you ask, you shall receive. I ain't stealing none from nobody. Princess Alex, uh, hood fabulous. She need to go to the lake. She need a bath. 
<laughs> Absolutely. Howdy Gibson. She needs to get her channel taken. YouTube is all about dollars because it's so many criminal activities on YouTube for real, for real. Oh, yeah. And I said I'm going to get in touch. Y'all don't get in touch with Sweet Pea to strike her page. No, me and my husband talked about it. He said, don't do that. Let her hang herself. Don't strike nobody's page. Don't try to take nobody's page. <laughs> he right. Leave alone. Don't get in touch with nobody and don't try to tear nobody down because they're going to hang their cell. And I said, you're right, baby. He said, leave it alone. Don't care what they put up over there. You, he said, you ain't got to go see it. But they're going to hang the cell. That hole she digging for you, they're going to fall in it. Don't try to remove nobody's page. And I'm not. I'm going to listen. I'm not going to do that. He said, leave it alone. And I said, you're right. He said, uh, two wrongs don't make a right. Leave it alone. It's out of your hands. You can't stop people from posting shit about your husband. I said, my God, baby, you absolutely right. So I said, fuck it. He said, just don't go look at it. Mm-hmm. Alice Lane, Heidi Gibson, uh, <laughs> thank you. Susie Ellison, Hearts and Roses, thank you, baby. Isolated, all the hearts, thank you for the beautiful hearts. Don't do me. YouTube going to get a lot of people convicted with their foolishness. <laughs> Fabulous. You are the queen on YouTube. I love you, Miss Scott. Thank you. Thank you so much. Alice Lane said, Ginger C, 100. Keep pushing. Get on down the road. As you're saying, get on down the road. And leave me alone. Get on. <laughs> Miss Garvey, I was shirt made that says, get on down. I ain't doing that. I ain't going to do that. Your husband is right. She will hang. He said, leave alone. He said, you ain't got to go look at it. He said, let her post anything and everything she wanted to pull, post. We ain't got to look at it. He said, she going to hang herself. Don't try to strike. No, he said, don't strike nobody's page. And I got to think, I said, he right. I'm not going to do that. I ain't going to call Sweet Tea. I'm not going to do that. Nikki said, don't do me, right? <laughs> Shelly said, I am new, but I really enjoy you, Miss Carver. Thank you, Shelly. All the members said, get on down the road. <laughs> I keep pushing your husband. Is very Yes, he is. He said, leave it alone. Don't do it. And I got to think, and I said, he said, I said, you don't want me? He said, no. Leave her alone. She'll hang herself. Because he said, because we ain't got this. Go look at her. That's what they are. He make more sense than I do. Immigration need to do checks on these YouTubers. They may be looking for some of them. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. And my, my lawyer said a whole lot of more things about uh, this person. But I'm not going to repeat it. <laughs> he said, uh, these damn foreigners coming in here. I ain't gonna repeat nothing else he said. <laughs> I would buy, I would buy, get on down the road, Red Roses. <laughs> That's it. Miss Carver Shrek, YouTube not in her name. Oh, I always know that. I always know that uh Shrek got a lot of hidden agendas about her working. That bitch got a lot. I said she what she said, I was on here talking about she didn't work. Shrek got a lot of hidden agendas. A lot of hidden agendas. <laughs> it gonna come to pass. I'm gonna get up off of here because I'm tired. I'm gonna get over here in my bed. How to say yes? Avengers is the Lord's, and He will do it better than anybody. Don't mess with it. My hope said, leave alone. Don't mess with it. Leave alone. Keep pushing. Right. Don't do me. That's why they don't show. Who they are because they will be shipped back. I'm t my husband. My husband. My lawyer said a lot of wise things. He said uh, uh, those people, those uh, damn foreigners, are dime a dozen. He said they ain't even worth trying to subpoena. He said they over here doxing and doing everything, trying to make a damn living so they can send a dollar back home. <laughs> he said a lot of shit uh, about that bitch. She ain't worth me talking about. Uh, 
Everybody have a good night. Good night, Miss Conchie. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank everybody for the likes and views. And just thank you for the love. The love that y'all giving me is touching my heart. And I'm going to get off of here. Night, night. <laughs>